headed to the hotline. Talk some uh, Camping World trucks with the driver of the number 31 Exide Batteries Wolfpack Rentals Chevrolet. James Busher is with us. Hey, James. Hey, how's it going? We're good. How are you, my friend? I'm doing great. All right, good. Glad to hear it. Let's uh, let's talk a little Texas here. Weekend started fantastically. Pole position at Texas Motor Speedway. Had yourself a pretty good run. Uh, in the end, uh, a ninth place finish along the way. It may maybe a little disappointing after the way you qualified. Tell me. Well, first of all, really excited to finally get a pole in the truck <laughs> series. Uh, I was excited know, we were, for you. <laughs> we were so close so many times last year. And uh, I think that's only like the second, maybe third time that we've qualified in the top five this year. So, um, you know, we started off the year with an outside pole and and we finally, finally got it to the pole. But um, it was a brand new truck that we took to the racetrack this weekend with the Wolfpack Reynolds team. And uh, like you said, it started off fantastic, fastest in practice and, and sitting on a pole. But um, coming up through the field, there's there's a lot of different tire strategies and, and fuel strategies going on in, in the Texas race more than I think normally goes on in, in most truck races. So it was a pretty interesting race the way that everything was playing out. But uh, I think we were on a pretty good tire strategy, and, and we were coming up through the field. And uh, you know, us and the three and the thirteen, I think, were the fastest trucks there the whole weekend. And uh, Austin in the the three and the 88 got together at the flag stand and I went low to miss them and ended up going through the grass and tore the truck up pretty bad. So, you know, it was pretty unfortunate to, uh, to have all that damage and, and not be able to, to be up front contending for the win. Like I thought we were capable of and, and yeah. what we were doing in the beginning of the race. So, uh, really unfortunate, but definitely didn't have a top 10 truck after, after the wreck. So to come home with the top 10 was, uh, pretty exciting at the end of the night. I guess, you know, long view, and I, I'm not trying to talk you out of the disappointment because you're entitled to it and, and it's justified. But at the end of the day, taking the long view here, if you can have something bad, if you can have, you know, uh, hurdles to overcome and obstacles to clear and still finish in the top ten, that at the end of it all is a good sign, I guess. It's definitely a good sign, and, and that's what we need to do. You know, we've, we've had problems at Dover and finished eighth, and we had problems at Texas and finished ninth. I mean, we just have to turn our bad races into top tens and then, uh, you know, have our good races up in the top five, top three, and hopefully some wins will come here soon. But, um, you know, we finished ninth and, and gained 12 spots – or 12 – not 12 spots, correct myself, 12 points on the lead in the in the points. So, um you know, we turned a bad night into a solid points night, and and we're inching closer and closer and closer to the to the lead here, and we're within 47 points now, and a lot of racing left to do. If you think about it, we were 59 out, yeah, of, of the lead, and we we closed up 12 points in one race. So, uh, you know, we just got to keep keep the momentum going that we've had these last five races or so, and uh, you know, we've got three weeks to try to not lose our momentum, but. Uh, you know, three weeks to get ready for a five race stretch, and and we just got to keep it going. Even with my admittedly rudimentary and often suspect mathematical skills, by my count, yeah, seventh in points. But between you and third place, it's only fourteen points right now. That's not a high bar to clear. And going into this stretch that we just finished up, we were twentieth in points. Wow. Hmm. So, you know, we've just got to we've built some momentum up and we ended it on a good note I think um you know we've got three weeks off like I said so we ended it on a really good note and we just gotta you know go into the next five ten races and, and the rest of the year with the same mentality that we've been doing and and keep being competitive and uh you know I think we've got some good racetracks coming up still so you know I think uh it's still possible that the 31 truck could be a contender for the championship are you not based on how you've been running here of late? Are you are you not all that that happy about being off till July seventh at Kentucky? Now I, I would think to some degree you'd want to keep it rolling. I definitely want to keep it rolling. Uh, you know, it's nice to have an off weekend every now and then, but uh, you know, three in a row is kind of harsh. So um, you know, it'd be kind of nice if if we would have one race and then an off weekend and then have another race. But uh, you know, that's just the way the schedule's laid out. So that's what we have to deal with, and everybody's in the same boat. So. Uh, you know, hopefully we'll pick up right where we left off. I, I really hope we do because we, we've definitely had some good runs, and uh, even with some bad luck in the mix, we've we've come out with some really solid finishes. 
How will you keep yourself occupied now for the next couple of weeks with no race trucks to drive? Well, since I got home today in Houston, and since the truck race Friday night uh, in Dallas, I came back to Houston, then went to uh, Road America and was on track on Monday, and then went to Charlotte and was busy all day Tuesday and then flew home today. And I go to Florida this weekend. So just because we're not racing doesn't mean that I don't have anything to do. I'm staying busy for sure. Ah, and, uh, yeah. you know, we've, we've got a lot going on in the next couple of weeks. There's a golf tournament somewhere in the mix. And I'm sure I'll be at a couple of the nationwide races, uh, you know, as a spectator. So uh, a lot to lot to do before Kentucky, but uh, definitely wish we were racing. Might there even be a couple of items on the honeydew list? Uh, I mean, you're not, you know, technically married yet, but I don't think that matters to her. She'll still give you a list, right? Uh, there's definitely a list. Uh, <laughs> washer and dryer coming tomorrow because ours broke. So, uh, wow. you know, we've got time to, to fix stuff up around the house and, uh, you know, definitely always stuff to do. You broke them both at the same time? That takes no, effort. No, just a dryer, oh. but uh, oh. we'll keep them in a set. Oh, got it. They okay. have to match, Moody. Well, who knew? You know, I don't yeah. care if they match or not, but well, exactly. they do that's have to my match. That's, yes, that's they look point. much better when they match. Just trust me on that. Doesn't matter to <laughs> us, but to them it matters, right? Is that what we're saying? Right. Okay. All right, fine. Sounds good to me. All right, well, have fun. Uh, I, we don't worry about you staying busy. You always seem to find something to do on an off weekend. I always seem to have a lot going on, but we're going down to the Space Coast Center, uh, Melbourne, Florida, this weekend, and uh, we're going to film a little segment for Speed Channel and, and uh, kind of share with everybody what Space Coast Center really does. They were on my truck back in Dover, so we're finally getting to go down there and uh, and spend some time with them. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, that's that's kind of cool, isn't it, that you're running well enough in this series and your your name is out there enough that the, uh, that the media partners want to do some of these special things with you. Absolutely, and it also raises awareness for for charity organizations like uh, like what Space Coast Center for Mothers with Children in in Melbourne does. Uh, you know, they take we've talked about it before, but we, they take uh, homeless mothers and, and and give them a place to live with their kids and give them guidance on how to redirect their lives and uh, you know help them out. That's a cool deal. Cool deal. Well, congratulations on that. Appreciate you doing that work, and uh, we'll catch up with you again next week, my friend. Thank you. All right. Thank you. You bet. That's James Busher, uh, up to seventh in points from, what do you say, 21st just a few weeks ago, uh, and only 14 out of third right now. There's a lot of racing yet to be done before this one is over.